So then now I'm going to... Oh. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a full talk through, get ready with me. And I'm not gonna lie, I really do miss like talking to the camera and like with you guys and, and you know, telling you guys step by step how I achieve a look. Um, the reason why I wasn't doing talk through videos was because, you know, summertime, it's hot, my studio is in the attic, and, you know, heat rises. So I really couldn't be talking to you guys and have my AC running in the background because so much noise could be very loud. So, you know, because I wanted to keep content coming in, I was like, let me just do get readies with me, but, you know, without any talking. So I'll definitely be back to posting more talk through videos. But for this video, as you can see, I have achieved a very pretty pink magenta fall kind of look, you know, very smoky, um, very sultry. And this lip, this lip. So let's get right into the video. I do want to apologize from now. My neighbors are very like loud. They I don't know what they were doing. It sounded like they were like vacuuming their, their driveway or something. I don't know. So if you do hear um like you know background noise, I really want to apologize. So let's get right into the video. Um, but first, you know, if you are a new watcher, thank you for clicking on my video. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell and join the family. And to all of my return watchers, I love you guys so much for the continuous support. Um, so let's jump right on into it. Okay, we are back with a another upload and it's all fall looks right now because fall is approaching. Well, fall is already here for me because I'm over summer. It's not even hot anymore. We had like a couple warm days like last week in New York, but it's done. Like, you know, let's just let it go. Let it go. So we are going to be doing a fall look. And I'm excited because I got this Berries and Cream palette by Dominique Cosmetics. And it's beautiful. It is such a beautiful palette. And I'm really liking this blue. This blue is like really pretty. Very pretty. But yeah, it has um, one, two, three, four shimmers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mattes. Um, I kind of want to go for a matte look. I'm going to see. Like, we're just going to wing it, play around a little bit. Um, and, yeah, let's see what look I come up with. All right. So I'm going to do my eyes first um, because I do want to do more of a, like, you know, dark, smoky look. I might want to add glitter later. I don't know. So to spare my like fresh foundation I'm going to do my eyes first so like you know I could wipe off any fallout that um that happens so I'm priming my eyes with the Fenty Beauty concealer this is in the shade 360 I really hope like I stay in focus because it seems like I'm in and out of focus okay so I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and just going to buff that out Okay, I look crazy. <laughs> Alright, so the first shade that I want to use, um, let's see. Ooh, and these are creamy. They're like very creamy. First shade, I'm going to go in with Toasted. It's more like of a grayish type of color. Kind of looks like a grayish lavender on camera, but it's like a gray in person. So I'm going to take a blending brush and pop that into my crease. Ooh, this is pigmented. So I'm just building up that color. Um, I'm also bringing it into like right here in this nook, so like it connects with like my nose contour later on. And like so like the eye just looks like you know full and complete like don't be afraid to bring eyeshadow like right up in here especially like if you're going to be doing like a cut crease or anything like that you always want to like you know complete the look don't just go like halfway like bring it all the way in this 
is actually a really pretty um, crease color. I thought it wasn't gonna like really show, but it's showing. It's definitely showing. Next, I want to go in with, I'm using a different blending brush, and I want to go in with um, Soft and Sweet. It's a lot of kickback. There's a lot of kickback, but I mean, they're really pigmented, so I can all expect that. So I'm just going to take Soft and Sweet and apply it right on top of the first shadow that I used, which is Toasted. Just so... You can like soften that up a little bit. Okay, so now I want to deepen the crease by taking um, chocolate mousse. A very pretty brown. It looks coming more like a um, mahogany brown on camera, but this is like a like a true brown, like in person. So I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and I pop that right into my crease. And so far, no fallout, you guys. Um, there is a lot of kickback in the pan, though. Like, you can see, like, how it's, like, very, like, dusty. Not dusty, but, like, you know. Um, but there hasn't been any fallout, like, you know, as of yet, so... If I do try like one of the shimmer shades, I guess like we'll see if that has any fallout because those tend to like really have the fallout. But um, yeah, so far so good. I'm just going to go back in with the first blending brush that I had used um, on my transition shade and I'm just going to blend those two colors together. Someone is like, it sounds like someone's vacuuming outside. I don't know what they're doing. I'm sorry if you hear it, but I swear, like, my neighbors just never stop. Like, they could just never be quiet. Especially when I want to film. They'd be like, oh, Ebony Studio Light is on. Let's, let's get to make a noise. No. Okay, like that right there. I am going to deepen it up just a little bit more. So I'm taking some more of that chocolate mousse and just packing it on. And I'm also going to like pull it down to like the outer V of my eye. Kind of like slant it some onto my lid. I find that like when I do this, it kind of like gives me a different like type of shape eye that I'm going for rather than like a really open eye. It like will like, you know, kind of give like a sultry looking kind of eye. I'm going back in with that same blending brush to blend everything together. Okay and now I really want to deepen it up with Blackberry. Only a little little bit because these seem to be very pigmented and I do not want like you know the black to ruin the look so I'm just going to take a very small blending brush and concentrate that in the outer V area. So I'm going to slant it as well and then like bring it up into my crease. These shades like blend perfectly together. Like this is a really good palette. And going back in with that same blending brush. It's going to blend out any harshness. Okay, so now I am going to um, cut my crease and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Concealer again to do that. This is in the shade 360. So I'm just going to take like a very dense um, eyeshadow brush, flat brush. It has a flat head, so I'm just going to take some concealer onto that. Don't mind my hair, like I literally just woke up and... I'm probably going to go back to sleep after this, so <laughs> do not mind my hair. As I, like, you know, get more comfortable with doing um, cut creases, I just realize they don't need to be perfect. I mean, I'm not going for, like, that perfect cut sharp look anyway. I just want 
my lid shadow to stick and to pop so <laughs> I mean if you are looking to have like that crazy precision then like you don't take your time with it but for me especially since I have big eyes and like <laughs> big lid space it's easy for me to like you know just curve it out a little bit um so yeah like I'm not about to break my back trying to cut a crease that I know I'm gonna mess up on so I'm just like let me just lay it down and it is what it is and one thing that I also learned um, when doing a cut crease or even like with wearing lashes one of my eyes is bigger than the other or like it's differently shaped like this one is like a lot rounder and this one is more of like a I don't know I don't know if you guys can tell but I can like after I do my makeup and I'm like putting on my lashes or like cutting a crease I could tell because like they don't look identical okay I like it I like it so next I do want to use a shimmer and this one is just calling my name this one right here is called warm pie and if you like look closely it kind of has like gold iridescent like reflex in it kind of gives off like greenish gold type of feel and I think it's just really pretty so I'm going to pop that onto my lid using a flat brush let's see if there's fallout because there definitely is kickback right now on the palette but let's see how we are with fallback I mean fallout and whoa 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 <laughs> This is so pretty! Oh my gosh. Um, and there is fallout. It's okay. It is what it is. Like I said, like I kind of had a feel that there would be, and like especially because these shadows are just so pigmented, um, that's why I decided to do my eyes first, just to avoid that, you know. So now I'm going to take that tapered um, blending brush again and I'm going to dip into both, am I in focus? And I'm going to dip into both chocolate mousse and blackberry again to um, bring back the depths in the crease in the outer V area. First I'm going to pack it on. And I want to keep like that slant as well, so back it on like so, and then I'm going to take that small um, blending brush again and like work around. And then I'm going to take that big blending brush and make sure that everything is like blended together nice and good next I want to take this shade right here it's coming off white on camera but it's more like a very 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 like ashy pink with um, some reflex in it it is glitter I want to put that into the inner portion of my lid and just focus that like right here Oh, this is pretty. Mixing these two together is like giving me like a purple vibe. This is like really pretty. And I just want to take a clean brush and like blend those two together. Fallout. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with you fallout? Like you you are never wanted. So next I think I'm done with like the shimmer shades. Um, I'm just going to clean off my face. <laughs> Baby girl, you look crazy. You just gotta trust the process. Trust the process. Alright, so we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. So, right now, I'm just tight lining. So, I'm going to wing it out. This is with the um, NYX. NYX? Why did I say NYX? This is with the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner, and I'm going to step off camera to apply this because I'm not the best at doing it with, like, you know, a, such a small wand. I am getting better, but 
I need to be like really up and close and personal with the mirror and yeah I'll be back okay so they're like a little bit lopsided whatever so next we're going to go in with some mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara um, just to prep for the lashes And the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Buttercup Lashes by Brianna Glam. This one is in the style um, Nelva. Super, super pretty. My favorite is Soraya. Soraya. But I want more of like, you know, a full, dramatic, more wispy look. And I'm using the Duo Glue to apply it to, to make it sit. Okay, so while that dries, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take um, Sweet Cream and I'm going to put that underneath my brow bone. Mm, like that. Very lightly. I just want to make sure these lashes are really dry because I do not want glue getting on my my eyelid. That happens to me so many times because my lashes curl so it's like kind of hard to like place the band like right on top of my lash so I have to like kind of maneuver it in a way where like it is going on top of my my lash. And I kind of like how like they're kind of like separated, like wispy, you know, gives like, you know, a different kind of, different kind of look. We are done with eyes for now. Um, and we're going to move on to the face. So like I said, I do kind of want to keep it matte on my face. Um, let me wipe off my hands. So I feel like I'm like a little oily right now. And you know, we want to keep it matte. So I'm just going to go in with my um, Real Technique sponge nothing I haven't used it it's clean and I'm just like dabbing away that oil and I'm going to be using the infallible matte lock primer this is by L'Oreal love this stuff I'm putting it like on two fingers like so and I'm just gonna like rub them in and just pat 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 only like in my t-zone area and I'm just pressing it in okay so I'm going to be color correcting this is the Black Radiance True Complexion HD Corrector. So I really like this stuff. And I'm going to color correct under my eyes. I have like a little bit of scars from like blemishes. And I'm going to take that same brush that I used to blend out my um, eyelid primer. If I could find it. They be right in front of me and I can't these brushes really just be disappearing like mid tutorial I, I'm gonna head out well let me use this this is like a blending a clean blending brush so I'm just gonna use this so for um, foundation they're really blasting the mariachi is that how you pronounce it mariachi guys I'm really sorry if you hear this in the background like this is what I gotta deal with Anyway, so for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty foundation. This isn't her new one. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation because I do want to go for that matte look. Um, this is in the shade 385. So I'm just going to pump two on the back and I'm going to dab, dab, dab. And I'm going to take the Sephora um, Full Coverage Foundation Brush. I love this brush. I've been using it for my foundation for like quite a while now. And I really like it. Yeah, they have, the Latinos have their music blasting. Some African American guys like scream about, I got your money, yo, I got it. Like, <laughs> Outside is a comedy show right now. I don't know what's going on. This foundation is just bomb. Okay, and for concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. <laughs> this is in the shade 
golden. So you're just gonna crank it up a little bit and apply. You know, I love culture. I love, like, you know, especially the music and your culture. I'm here for everything. I really like this concealer. I don't know why I stopped using it. And for contour, you already know, I love me some Fenty Beauty contour. This is in the shade Truffle. This contour is just super creamy. It's my shade. And it just blends so well. And I'm using my foundation brush. Where's my... Oh. I was really about to start fighting. Like, just look at how, like, flawless that just blended out. And I'm just going to go back in with the side that I used to um, blend out my concealer to, like, you know, blend in with the contour. Sorry. So thirsty. I'm surprised my camera is not dying yet. Let me knock on wood. So to set my concealer, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty setting powder. This is in the shade um, Cashew. And I'm just going to take, like, you know, a little powder brush. Oh my God. Yeah, this powder is just like all over the place. Absolutely love this powder. Like, look at it. Look at it. I really like how this look is coming out. I was a little nervous because I get scared doing like, you know, um, more dramatic eyes because you just never know how that's going to come out. And to set my contour, I'm going in with the Black Radiance um, True Complexion Contour Palette. Like, look at the powder just, like, everywhere. And I'm just going to take these two dark shades. And I'm going to stamp it in first. Like so. And I'm just going to swirl it in. also going to use a brush take those two same shades and just work it all into everything so everything is like you know nice and blended and married together one big happy family so now i'm going to contour y'all they are really I'm sorry you guys, I'm so sorry. This middle shade, and sis is just going to snatch it. Then I want to go in with the, um, now the ice cream truck. Yeah, it's a lit Saturday. So now I wanna go into the Jean Michael Basquiat palette this is with urban decay this blush right here it is such a pretty blush like watch oh. like she's flushed like <laughs> i love putting blush on my nose because it just gives like that like a button nose innocent effect This is beyond me. Like anybody could just be rolling up through here. Where's let me let me get management. Um, I'm going to set my face now with the Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing Spray. Drench it. I don't care. I wasn't playing. I really did drench it. <laughs> and now that like this soaked into the skin, we're just gonna dab, dab, dab. 
I'm just going to set my brows because they got a little carried away with like, you know. Okay, so now going back into the palette to, <clears throat> oh, to complete the eyes. <laughs> Before we pick up the palette, I'm going to line my waterline. <clears throat> oh, what is going on? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> So then now I'm going to, oh Lord Jesus. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Ooh, get back in focus. Won't you focus on, oh I'm sorry. So that shade that I put underneath my um, lash line is called Cherry Juice. And then now we're going to take Chocolate Mousse and smudge that out. I'm going to take the same shade that I put underneath my brow bone. This is Sweet Cream, and I'm going to pop that into my inner tear ducts. Shorty getting numbers out here. <laughs> so now for lips, I am going to be doing, of course, fall, all fall. I am not doing nude, no pink nude. I did nude so many times, all fall, all dark, bold colors. So I am going to be using the NYX Espresso Lip Liner. I love using this lip liner because it's very dark. Um, I like using it when I'm doing a, like, a very dark lip. For my lip, this is also by um, Dominique Cosmetics, her berries and cream line. This is called Plum Berry. I love this kind of applicator head. This um, reminds me of the Maybelline Superstay um, Matte Ink Lipsticks. Um, they have like, you know, the flexible wands like this, like the diamond shaped ones. So it's like, you know, very easy to apply. Beautiful. This is just giving me a whole like and the shortcut is just giving me like such a 90s feel like what so let me go get cute and I will be right back to close this video out and here's the finished look you guys I really hope that you enjoyed it because this look is just screaming like fall I'm ready for you I'm ready to slay this fall period the berries and cream palette wow like this palette is this palette is really good the liquid lipstick this is in the shade plum berry had it on for like probably 15 minutes now um i put on two coats no creasing my lips don't feel dry like you know like this i really like the formula of this this actually reminds me of the um the lip bar their liquid lipsticks um, the formula is like really similar to that like it's not drying and like my lips don't feel like they're like being torn apart you know so yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I cannot wait to do another fall inspired look because like I said all fall lips like no nudes no pink nudes no like I'm doing all fall lip colors and smoky smoky eyes so i really hope that you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a thumbs up comment let me know what other kind of like fall looks you would like me to do help a girl out like let me know what y'all want to see because i'm i'm ready to bring it to you guys so thank you for watching this video and in the meantime you already know what to do but click that definitely click that <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next upload